question for both of you. Um, how long did it take for strangers to recognise who you were? I'll ask you first, uh, Jeremy. For people to know who you were. What you know to recognise that? To recognise. Yeah. Well, I think you know if you're being quite frequent at some of these events, they'll say, "Oh, hi, Jeremy. Nice to nice to see you." People in England would probably know when I was doing a lot of television and theatre. They said, "Oh, you also played Boba Fett, didn't you?" So people would recognise you from theatre, television first, but. It, when you're wearing a mask, you could walk down the street, go anywhere, and no one would know who the hell you were at all. Apart from you, of course. <laughs> there you go. Use the word were again. There. Yeah. What about you, David? <laughs> well, I think, I think we're very, very fortunate in as much that we can have all the publicity when we want it, by turning up into conventions and doing all these personal appearances and so on. So, um, because we play, you know, because we've become famous playing these masked roles, um, we can go out into, into the towns or the cities that we're appearing in and, and really nobody recognises you. I mean, the, the, I, I got a lot more recognition when I was appearing as, as the Green Cross Codeman on, on, on television all the time. Um, but as I said, it, it, I think once you, once you start appearing on TV and, and you're like you're in soap or, and all these sorts of things, and you're, you're, you're always on the box, um, you are instantly recognised and the worst thing of all, you lose your privacy. That is the worst thing, the worst thing I've ever And it's something which has never happened to, to either of us, that we've never lost our privacy. We can, as I said, we can have all the publicity we want when we want it, and we can switch it off when we don't want it. No, no, you're right. Apart from a soap opera I was in for three years in the 60s, that's when people would point, oh, look, David yeah, Foster. Yeah. Oh, look, oh, look, it's him, it's him. Every, and I found that I was quite embarrassed. I'd smile, but just want to move on. Mm. But it is. Something like a soap opera is, is twice a week, and everyone knows who you are. The fans I know um, want to thank you because of the simple fact that it is, you know, a long way to travel, and yet you spend so much time with them, and they are so devoted to you. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank both our guests. Give them a round. I go M I C. See you real soon. See you real soon. That's the one. K E Y. Yeah, I, you've, got, you've got it, haven't you? Huh? <laughs> can, can you do it? Can, also, can you do it in the voice of Boba Fett? <laughs> because your natural voice is really girly. <laughs> I jumped before we left. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you for coming to my house. Now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. MIC, see you real soon. KY.